Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Richie Rich, released in the year 1994. The movie opens up with a billionaire and philanthropist, Richard Rich, announcing the birth of his son, Richie Rich. Richie's loyal butler, Herbert Cadbury, is narrating the time of his childhood. As soon as he was born, he is titled the world's wealthiest child. The narrator mentions that despite running a large business empire, Richard still spends time with his son. Richie's interest in baseball can be noticed since his childhood. And later, when he becomes a teenager, he is seen playing baseball with the servants in his huge backyard. Although Richie has everything he wishes for, he doesn't have friends to play with and enjoy his time. At the United Tools factory reopening, Richard sends his son on his behalf as he has to go on an important business trip. It is the factory that Richard has saved recently from bankruptcy. Richie reaches there with Cadbury and addresses the whole crowd. While on stage, he notices some children his age playing baseball on a field nearby. He tries to visit the game but is stopped by his overly strict bodyguard, Ferguson. Cadbury intervenes and kindly ushers Richie away, mentioning that he has a busy schedule. He also warns Ferguson about his physical treatment of Richie. While on the helicopter, Richie looks at the children and realizes that there is something missing in his life that money cannot buy. In the next scene, we see that Richard has finally arrived home from his week-long business trip. He criticizes the family portrait made on the nearby mountain. At the same time, Richie approaches him and Richard is very happy to see his young son. Richie tries to tell him about the kid he saw playing baseball before, but Richard just ignores it as he's too busy with his work. Richie then asks his mother, Regina, if he could invite his friends over. Regina allows him, but on one condition, that he can only invite his school friends. This makes Richie upset as he hates his school friends. Right then, Cadbury informs him about his time to attend his chemistry class with Professor Keenbean. Inside the chemistry lab, Professor Keenbean shows his latest inventions to Richie. He lets him play with a robotic bee he has developed after investing a million dollars. Richie accidentally flies the bee over Cadbury, who smashes it within seconds. Furious, Keenbean chases Richie out from the chemistry lab. At night, we see Lawrence Van Doe, the corrupt CFO of Rich Industries, visiting Richard for a business meeting. While he proposes upgrading the security system, he gets to know that the family's fortune is stored inside the rich family vault. Van Doe is seen plotting a master plan with Ferguson to attack the rich family and take away their possessions. Richie tries to persuade his friends at school to have fun and hang out at his place. But none of his friends seem interested in it, as all they think about is money. On his way back home, Richie escapes his busy schedule and asks his driver to take him to the United Tools area, where he saw the kids playing baseball before. When Richie reaches there and sees the kids playing baseball, he wants to join them. The youngsters think otherwise and make fun of Richie, thinking that he lives too privileged of a life to know how to play baseball. Richie then bets $10 with the kids, telling them that he'll hit a home run. The kids immediately accept the bet, and when a girl, Gloria, throws the ball, Richie swings his bat, hits a home run, and wins the bet. He then invites them to his home for a party, but Gloria refuses his invitation. Afterward, while Richard is taking Richie to visit Queen Elizabeth on her birthday, Ferguson plants a bomb in the private plane that the family will board. Regina notices something wrong with Richie and asks Cadbury about the cause. After she gets to know that Richie doesn't like going on lavish trips, she decides to let Richie stay at home and enjoy the weekend while she accompanies Richard on the trip. At home, Cadbury surprises Richie by revealing that he's secretly invited the kids from the baseball game to come over. The rich mansion quickly impresses the kids, and they soon find themselves playing various games with Richie. Richie has also managed a McDonald's station inside his mansion for his friends. On the other hand, Cadbury spends some time with Diane, Gloria's mother. The kids slowly start liking Richie after spending a day with him. On their way to visit the Queen, Richard craves some chocolates and starts searching for them inside the plane. 
he picks up his Smell Master, a gadget made by Keen Bean, and scans over the gifts packed for the Queen to locate the chocolates. Accidentally, the Smell Master locates a detonator wrapped inside a gift. Once Richard and Regina realize what it is, he manages to chuck the bomb out his window with a few seconds remaining. Although he throws it out, the TNT explodes near the aircraft and damages the rear part of the plane. Because of this, the plane starts plunging into the ocean. While the kids are leaving the mansion, Richie gets to know that Cadbury called them with the promise of providing them with $100. After they leave, Cadbury informs Richie that his parents' plane has gone missing. Richie immediately heads to find his dad's location with the help of their personal communication channel, DadLink. Shortly after, we get to see that Richard and Regina make it through the plane crash and are rescued by a life raft. Regina suspects that the bomb was planned by Van Doe and suggests Richard fire him from his job. The couple also concludes that they should survive, just for the sake of their son, as his life is in danger now. Back at the Rich Mansion, Van Do believes that the entire Rich family has perished. Hence, he goes to Richard's office to overtake his position. He tries to run the company being the leader of the Rich Corporation, and begins by cancelling the charity contributions done by the Rich family. First of all, he eliminates the charity done to the United Tool Factory which results in the staff of the factory being fired. Gloria calls Richie and informs him about the charity cancellation, as her mother is also an employee in the factory. Listening to this, Richie decides to take action against Van Doe. He reaches out to the office with Cadbury and tells Van Doe that he will take over his father's position until he returns. Van Doe tries to manipulate him, telling him that he is a minor, but Cadbury comes forward to rescue Richie. Cadbury mentions that he can access the proxy rights to Richie being a third parent. First of all, Richie reopens the United Tool Factory and later continues with office work very swiftly. Gloria and her friends pay a visit to Richie's office and get hired as a research and development team for Richie Rich Nut Bars. Fed up with Richie's activities, Van Do tries his best to convince the board members, but fails. One day, some police officers storm inside the meeting room and arrest Cadbury. It turns out that Van Doe had framed him as a suspect of Richard and Regina's murder. After Cadbury gets arrested, Van Doe becomes the official guardian of Richie, which gives him the right to make important decisions in the business. After getting into power, Van Doe fires all the servants of Richie's mansion and plants CCTV cameras at every corner to keep an eye on Richie. On the other hand, Keen Bean overhears Van Doe and Ferguson planning to kill Cadbury inside the prison. He immediately informs Richie about their plan and hands him a special chemical to parcel Cadbury, which would help him to damage the prison bars and get out. Richie cleverly sneaks the chemical inside the prison, claiming it as a toothpaste for sensitive teeth. Inside the prison bathroom, while Cadbury is about to brush his teeth, he is attacked by a hitman sent by Van Doe to kill him. However, he manages to knock out the hitman and uses the chemical to get out of prison. Cadbury meets Richie outside the prison, who shows him the newspaper stating that the wreckage of the crashed plane has been found, but no dead bodies are spotted. This makes Richie believe that his parents are alive. After that, Richie goes straight to Gloria's house, where Diane tends to Cadbury, while Richie uses Gloria's computer system to hack his dad Link's interface. Elsewhere, on the raft, Richard takes off Regina's earring and connects it with the GPS locator to turn it on. They now believe that their son will be able to find them. Meanwhile, Van Doe and Ferguson are confronting Keen Bean to tell them about the rich family vault. Keen Bean discloses to them that he doesn't know about the vault's location and only knows that the vault is opened by the voice command of the rich couple. Just then, when Richie gets to know that his parents are alive and is about to pinpoint their location coordinates, Ferguson gets notified about the act and he disconnects the dad link. After that, Ferguson notifies Van Doe that Richard and Regina are alive. Later, Richard and Regina are saved by Van Doe and are brought back to the mansion. We can also see the kids outside the mansion executing a plan to get Richie up to his dad link device. Passing through the securities, Richie enters the mansion and finds Professor Keenbean tied to a chair. 
Richie and his friends free Keenbean and disconnect all the security cameras. On the other hand, Keenbean pours one of his prepared chemicals into the water fountain, causing it to form bubbles all over, distracting the security guards. Richie enters his room and opens the dad link to discover his father's location inside the mansion. In the next scene, we see Richie and Cadbury together with Richard and Regina inside a room. Richard and Regina are taken hostage by Van Doe, who continuously orders them to open the vault for him. Richard tells them that the vault is located at the Mountain Richmore, where the family portrait is built. Leaving Richie and Cadbury with the security guards, Van Doe takes Richard and Regina to the vault so that they can open it for him. Meanwhile, Richie, his friends, Diane, and Cadbury are taken to the chemistry lab and locked inside a cage. Fortunately, Keenbean arrives and uses his chemicals to save all of them. After that, Richie rushes to save his parents from Van Doe. At Mount Richmore, the rich couple opens their vault with their voice commands. The vault is actually filled with the toys from Richie's childhood and memories of the rich family. Van Doe is very angry to witness all this because he had thought that the vault would contain billions of dollars. Angry, Van Doe attempts to shoot Richard and Regina, but Richie arrives there in the nick of time and intervenes. Van Doe shoots at him, but thanks to Keenbean's bulletproof jacket, Richie is unharmed. Instead, he attacks Van Doe and flees the vault with his parents. In their attempt to escape, the rich family is spotted by Ferguson who tries to attack them with the help of the rock blasting laser, originally used to build the sculpture. Cadbury fights with Ferguson and disarms him from the laser. Later, he uses the same laser to blast Van Doe, who is about to shoot at the Rich family. In this way, the Rich family finally managed to defeat the evil Van Doe. In the last scene, we see Richie playing baseball with Gloria and her friends in Rich Manor's yard, where Cadbury is the team's head coach. Richie hits a home run and wins the game for his team. The baseball Richie hit is picked up by Van Doe, who is gardening the lawn with Ferguson by his side, and a police officer keeping an eye on them. Seeing Richie play baseball with his friends, Richard and Regina are really happy as they feel that he has now found real friends that money can never buy. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.